Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up your smart terminal with printer, also known as the Castle's S1 F2. Connect it to your network and add it to your Lightspeed Restaurant O Series back office. It's important that you only use the terminal supplied to you by Lightspeed because any terminal obtained from a third party won't be configured for your account and could be a security risk. If you need more detailed troubleshooting or setup instructions, visit the link in the description for the Lightspeed Payments article on our Help Center. Before we get started, make sure you have everything you need. In the box you should find your smart terminal with printer, the USB charging and power cable, and a roll of receipt paper. By default, the terminal is set up to use a Wi-Fi connection. To inquire about adding standalone mode on Wi-Fi or 4G to your account, please reach out to your account manager or one of our dedicated sales representatives. For this video, we will be using Wi-Fi. Let's start by inserting the paper roll into the terminal. At the top of the terminal, there's a paper roll compartment with the tap icon on it. Look for the three lines on either side of the terminal and press on the lines to open the paper roll cover. Insert the paper roll with the paper coming from beneath the roll, like this. Confirm the receipt paper is placed correctly in the compartment and pull out a length of the paper. The paper should face the tap icon. Now, close the compartment with the edge of the roll sticking out. Now, we are going to plug in and power on your terminal. On the left side of the terminal, open the large flap to reveal the terminal's ports. Insert one end of the USB charging cable into the terminal and the other end into the power adapter. Then, plug the adapter into a wall outlet. The terminal must charge for a minimum of four hours the first time it is plugged in. To power on the terminal, press and hold the power button located on the left side of the terminal until the Adyen logo comes on screen. Your terminal will boot up and prompt you to set up your Wi-Fi. Select your network from the list of available networks. Then, enter your Wi-Fi password. Then, hit Connect. After a brief moment, the terminal will return you to the list of networks with your network marked Connected. Now, hit the Back button on the bottom of the screen and return to the main page. Here, you'll be prompted to select your store, which should be pre-configured on your device. Tap the blue check mark to confirm. At this point, the terminal may begin to run updates and could restart several times during the process. Let it finish running updates. This process could take up to 20 minutes to complete. After updating, the terminal will load up the home screen where you will see the Lightspeed logo. You are now ready to process transactions with the terminal. To get started with enabling payments for Lightspeed O Series, sign into your back office. Then, go to Integrations. Under the Discover panel, look for Lightspeed Payments. On this page, click Enable. After that, the remaining steps are completed on your POS register. Once you're in the POS, the pairing process is easy. Select the Menu button at the top of the screen. Then, go to Lightspeed Payments. The boarded terminals for your store will appear on this list. If any are missing or are not pairing properly, Click the Refresh Terminal Info button at the bottom of the screen. Note that it can take up to 15 minutes from boarding a terminal for a device to appear in this list. If after 15 minutes you are still missing a terminal, contact our support team for assistance. Note that while more than one POS can pair to a payment terminal, only one payment terminal can be paired to a POS register. Select the correct terminal by comparing the serial number of the device with the one in the back office and click the Pair button. After that, the POS will pair to the terminal and confirm that it was successful. If it was not, contact our support team. Once done, close the menu. Now let's perform a test transaction with the terminal. Add items to an order and tap Checkout. Then, tap Lightspeed Payments. Finally, your terminal will prompt you to add a tip. Select an amount or tap No Tip. Then swipe, insert, or tap your card. A confirmation message will appear on your terminal and your POS will confirm that the payment is approved. This means your terminal is set up and ready to process payments. 
Then you can return the test transaction and refund the amount to your card. Assuming there is no remaining balance owing on the sale, the sale will close. This part may change depending on your configuration, but by default, the POS will ask if you need to email or print your receipt. The customer copy of the transaction data will be on this receipt and close the sale. If the payment doesn't process, first confirm that your terminal and iPad are connected to the same network. If both devices are on the same Wi-Fi and you're still having issues processing payments, you may have a DNS connection issue. On your iPad, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and then tap the information icon next to your connected network. Scroll down to Configure DNS. If your DNS is set to automatic, switch it to manual. Now we'll edit your DNS servers. You should see two fields. If you only see one field, tap the Add Server button. In the first field, enter 8.8.8.8. In the second field, enter 8.8.4.4. This will ensure a secure connection between your POS and payment terminal. When you're done, make sure to tap Save. That's it. You are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you have any questions, view the links in the video description or visit our O-Series Help Center.